This video is sponsored by ViewSonic. Make sure to watch the video all the way through to find out how you can win this video's giveaway. Hey friend, Brandon here. I wanna show you this really simple desk setup. It's really minimal, mostly wireless, and it's hooked up to the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. And it's running Samsung DeX on this insane 120 inch projection screen. And Samsung DeX works on pretty much any recent Samsung Galaxy phone. I'm also gonna give away the projector that I'm using for this screen. So stay tuned through the rest of the video because this is Tech Today. So let's talk about the setup. It's fairly minimal, mostly wireless, and it all starts with the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. The Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra is the top of the line Samsung device right now. And it's pretty crazy, especially when you unlock the power of DeX. So when you take the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra, you can just plug in a USB-C into HDMI cable into it. But the thing is, is it's probably gonna drain the battery. So I have a Samsung DeX station, which is not only something that provides an HDMI port into, but also has USB-A ports. There's two of them if you want to use them. And then a USB-C port, which allows you to charge your Galaxy device as well. And so I have two cables that come out of it. One is that USB-C cable to charge it, and then an HDMI cable. And then I have that single HDMI cable attached to the ViewSonic projector. Now you've probably heard of ViewSonic. They're market leaders, and they have incredible displays and projectors, which means the content that you're looking at is extremely high quality. It's great for businesses, families, gamers, students, and so many other applications. They have a ton of options available for projectors. This one's a PX727HD. This one's a PX703HD, which is the one that I'm gonna give away, which is actually brighter than this one. This one's a 2000 lumens, while this one is a 3500 lumens. So whoever wins this one is getting the brighter one. Now, the PX727HD that I have set up is my personal favorite, and uh, I'm gonna be honest, I'm keeping it. And the reason why is because it is great for content, like movies and you can edit things on it because it covers 100% of the Rec. 709 color gamut. And this thing is at 1080p and it can go up to 300 inches. This is 120 inches. That's more than twice as big, which is insane. And I don't know if you can tell in the video right now, but it's actually bright enough that I can see the image well enough even with my lights on. And keep in mind, the one that I'm giving away is 1500 lumens brighter than even this one. Now, a great thing about this projector is that you have the ability to have audio in, audio out, and then there's dual HDMI ports, which makes it super flexible to connect to supporting media players, gaming consoles, PCs, Macs, and mobile devices like the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. And then everything else is connected wirelessly because of Bluetooth. First, we have this keyboard here, which is a Logitech Craft keyboard. It's backlit, which is really helpful, which you'll see in just a moment. And it has this really awesome rotation dial, which you can use to change the volume and even act Activate the Google Assistant or Bixby if you want to do that. And then we have this really small Logitech mouse, the MX Anywhere 2S. And then for audio, we have the IK Multimedia iLoud speakers, which for being so small, they sound really dang good. And then this desk here is simply a Husky desk from Home Depot. And despite it being only a hand crank and not like a typical sit-stand desk, this thing can support 1,000 pounds all the way down. So this thing, it's gonna last you a long time and it's fairly inexpensive. Of course, I have links for everything down below in the description, but uh, let's turn the lights off and check this thing out. Okay, here is Samsung DeX on this crazy 120 inch projection screen. Now, if you've never used Samsung DeX, it's a lot like a desktop environment, but using your phone, which is insane. I know of people who have actually used Samsung DeX to run their entire business, which is nuts. And then we have this backlit keyboard right here, our mouse, and then our audio. So you have all your apps here that you can just move through, just like normal. So even with Dex, you can have a full desktop experience, which is crazy. So right now I'm watching my friend Miss Click here on Twitch. So and with this dial here on the left of the keyboard, I can just turn up the volume. So let's uh, hear how good these speakers sound. For being so small, I'm surprised at how much low end these things have. And then you can just hold down this button and activate the Google Assistant. Hey, uh, what is the weather in Australia right now? Currently in Sydney, it's 76 and mostly sunny. Now, what if I wanted to edit something? I can go into Photoshop, right? And then let's go into our gallery app here. I have an image here of my camera. And what I'm gonna do 
is just open it up in Photoshop. There's Photoshop Express. Now keep in mind that this ViewSonic projector has a very color accurate image and it's gonna be really hard to translate from here into the camera and all this other stuff, but trust me, like it, it looks pretty solid. And so I have all these different features here. I can adjust to different filters. I can crop it if I want to. And I can do this all from Samsung DeX. Yeah, I can add some contrast there. I can even spot heal if I want to. So I can zoom in just using the wheel on my mouse. And let's say I just want to get rid of this microphone here. Not bad, I don't see a microphone in this image here. By the way, I have a top 20 tips and tricks video on the Samsung Galaxy S20. So uh, go uh, check it out. There's a card right here. Also like, look, look how big it is and look how big I am. Look how big I am, but I, it's big. So what's really, really neat about the ViewSonic is that it has a bunch of different ways to make sure you have the best image possible. You have a test pattern to make sure it covers your border just right and it's nice and sharp. And it has advanced keystone features so you can kind of adjust it so it fits on your screen just right. And if you're crazy like me and you want to adjust the color, you can manually do that. You can change it to different user settings. I personally prefer Rec. 709 because I want the highest quality possible. By the way, there's a gaming mode in there as well, which goes along well with the 16 millisecond response time that this projector has. And their lamps last for 22,000 hours, so you're really good for playing games for as long as you want. Oh, and if you want to get the wallpaper for this, uh, there's a link in the description for that. There might be um, a secret there about a giveaway. Hmm, I don't know, just a thought. Now another cool thing, if you're a gamer and you have a Bluetooth controller, you can hook it up to your Samsung Galaxy S20 and then play some games on this insane screen. Samsung DeX is really powerful because you can use Google Drive, but you also have access to Microsoft Office. I mean, when you think about it, our phones are so powerful that you can kind of use it as a replacement for your laptop. And then when you feel like going a little extra, you know, put it on a projection screen that's 120 inches. So that's just a taste of what Samsung DeX can do. There's so much more that I can go into, so maybe if you want a more in-depth look on that, uh, let me know by leaving a comment down below. This is a pretty awesome use of Samsung DeX on this crazy 120 inch screen. And of course, the awesome ViewSonic projectors. So if you wanna win this projector, which is the PX703 HD, it's 1500 lumens brighter than the PX727 HD that we're using right now. You should probably find out where that link is in the description that I mentioned earlier in this video. Hmm. Oh, and uh, go follow me on Twitter because, you know, it might, it might be there. Future Brandon here. Um, you should also follow these Instagram accounts. There's uh, ViewSonic, ColorPro, and my account at This Is Tech Today. Go follow there, you know. I mean, if you want to win something. If you don't, I guess you shouldn't follow it. But that's kind of dumb. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching This Is Tech Today, where we talk about the intersection of technology in our everyday lives, in business, and in all things creative. Until next time.